Today's video, we're going to be dusting off an oldie but a goodie, and that is Mickey the Soapworks Reunion, and be using a, uh, a real straight for the first time in uh, quite a while on the channel. So if you like the sounds of that, stay tuned, let's get shaving. We are back, and uh, welcome to my den, friends, uh, with me, J-Mac, the Red Island Shaver. So glad to have you aboard for the weekend shave, and yes, Mickey Lee Soapworks Reunion. Uh, bringing this one out for the uh, BBS.Live Dusty Week, and that's right, stuff that uh, you haven't used in a while. And I haven't used this one in quite a while, uh, not since last winter, and uh, oh yeah, ooh, ooh. Mmm, love the scent on this one. It is what it says it is. Reunion. Uh, reunion would be the Reunion Islands. And uh, this is just a nice, simple vetiver. That's it. Vetiver. Reunion Islands vetiver. Nothing else. That's what it smells like. It smells like grassy. Followed by more grassy. Followed by green. Uh, followed by more grass. Maybe a bit of dirt. I like it. I dig it. It's earthy. It's green. It's grassy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you like vetiver, oh, yeah. if you like vetiver, this is a very, very nice vetiver. Uh, like I said, that's, that's all it is. It doesn't hide behind anything. It is just straight up vetiver. And uh, yeah, beautiful scent. Uh, now, on to Tonium, of course. Uh, Mickey Lee Soapworks had to close shop. Is it last year? I guess it was 2020 or 2019. Um, but for, for good reason, though, uh, the proprietor is a uh, active duty navy i do believe and they got got a transfer and some new responsibilities and could not uh, carry on making the soap and we got a good load in the uh, sterling finest badger uh fan knot so we will go with that but yeah so i mean you know we hate seeing artisans you know close up shop but you know for a lot of artisans this is a side gig this is you know kind of something they do to you know, on the side because they're shaving nerds like the rest of us and they, you know, they want to make a good soap and, uh, you know, sometimes life does get in the way of that, but, you know, we enjoyed them while they were here and, uh, wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors and, and we carry on. But these, uh, you know, these cats were one of the good ones. They made a very, very nice soap. Very, very nice soap. Nice soap base, lathers easily, good performer. Their scents were nice. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, that was a good load on the brush too. Good medium scent strength on this. It's not like blowing me away, uh, but it's also present, which is good. It's definitely not low scented. Uh, it may have lost. Maybe a step or two over the years. I've had this soap for quite a while. Something tells me it may have been a little bit stronger off the puck when it was newer, but I mean, other than that, it's still pretty good though. It's not low scented. I know the splash is really gonna bring it to the splash for this is just phenomenal. But we got to uh, we got to get through the whole shave before we get to the the splash now, don't we? So hopefully everybody are having a great weekend, a uh, uh, Halloween weekend. So hopefully all the uh, old ghouls and goblins have a safe time out there trick or treating this year. My uh, my youngest is gonna head out, I guess. His best friend should be a good time. We live in a pretty densely populated area so there's no shortage of houses to go visit to get the goodies and then of course you know once he gets home he has to pay the dad tax he's got to cough up some of that sweet sweet candy well you know, daddy picks some of his favorites out of the uh <laughs> out of the bunch so we're looking forward to that you know for for, for health reasons as a diabetic you know my blood sugars could be going low at the time that he gets home and, you know, might need a little bit of sugar as a little pick-me-up, you know, just to keep things on the straight and level. You know how it is. You know how it is. And he knows how the game is played, too. So, <laughs> anyway. 
always a good time. And uh, speaking of a good time, this soap is lathering very nicely. Definitely got a good load on the brush. Maybe a little too much, but we'll continue working it here, I think. And we're getting volume. Oh, it's still pretty. It's still kind of pasty in that brush, though. This could take a lot more water. We'll do one more application, I think, and see where we're at. We'll just vigorously scrub this fan knot. See what we get. Yeah, we're getting volume there now. I don't go for like super, well, I discussed it before, I don't go for like the super bloopy uh, thinner lathers. I don't mind it having some body and some, some volume. As long as it rinses off my shaving implement easily, that's all I care about. That's the it's a good level of hydration for me. And I almost dropped my brush. Soap is slippery. God, am I a mess? There goes some of my volume right there. You all right? That was fun. We're gonna leave that in the video too. We're not editing nothing out. <laughs> oh, shit happens. At least I caught it before it landed on the floor. Kept most of the lather on my face right where I want it. Yeah, I think we can work with this. This is uh, this is turned into a nice lather. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's that volume I want. All I'm looking for is enough uh, to do my three pass shave. Well, four pass shave today because it's a straight razor shave. So that's all I'm looking for. Nothing more, nothing less. Nicely hydrated to where I like it. I think we can roll with that. All right. And I got lather on my shirt. I got lather everywhere. I'm a hot mess. I have to change this shirt, I think, when I'm done. All right, I think we're finally ready to, uh, to shave for all of you guys that uh, have stuck around um, for all of that long enough to, uh, to watch me actually get shaven. So let's do some lights. Lights, camera, action. So the blade for today, my Wade and Butcher, the celebrated Extra Hollow. Oh, yeah, I love this razor. Love this razor. I don't know if you can see the etching on it or not, but it was funny on BBS.live the other night. The topic came up about Wade and Butchers being, was it Wade? Was it BBS? I think it was either BBS or Nate's live shape, but, uh, but Wade and Butchers being um, overrated. And I do, I do agree they get quite a bit of hype. Um... Maybe sometimes a little too much hype. But then again, I think it depends on the razor you get as well. I know I'm not a big fan of uh, wedges. Man, that still shaves smooth. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of wedges. And, uh, you know, a lot of these old Sheffield blades are wedges. So I think that's where some of the hype comes from. Because people, you know, go to their way to say just how good a Wade and Butcher is. And then... People get them and they're like, well... It shaved okay. I'll tell you what, an extra hologram weight, now that's something else.
very, very, very nice. Blade is shown. It's a. Uh, it is starting to show its amount of shaves on it. I will say that though. Definitely could use a fresh edge. Uh, we'll see. See how well it does here in the next pass. If it's got enough uh, enough left in the tank, I got a. I keep saying I got a bunch of blades that got to get honed. Ah, it's just the cost of sending all the damn things out. So, my hair's a mess. Jesus, I'm just a hot mess today, guys. Hot mess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a bunch of blades to send out. That's why I've really been <laughs> utilizing the shave heads lately because. Uh, you know, I still get that straight razor-esque shave. Then all I gotta do is replace the blade. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Anyway, would be nice to get a bunch of stuff honed here at some point, and uh, I'm sure he will. Right now, it's not really a huge priority though. Just do what we can with what we have to work with and, and we'll go from there. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if this old girl can muscle through uh, across the grain at least and kind of an against the grain on the neck. It's removing fur. Definitely removing some fur there. So that was okay. Now here's where we get, here's where it gets interesting. This is where uh, either it works or we abandon all hope. And not too, too bad. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to pile through more than a day's growth with it though. It's definitely getting, it's getting close to that point. Like to do buffing on that uh, on that pass just to keep the blade moving. Seems to be what works best for me. Oh, I guess I should uh, do this other side of my face before I put the blade down, eh? So how's everybody's weekend going? Everybody having a good weekend so far out there? Really not a whole hell of a lot going on here, to be honest. Uh, same old, same old weekend as usual. Might watch, probably watch a movie tonight. I usually watch a movie every Saturday night, so I'll go to the you know, Netflix and see what's uh, what's shaking. Some guitar playing is definitely a must. Definitely be doing quite a bit of that. Uh, yeah, just learning some new material. Not really writing anything right at the moment. I got a couple ideas bouncing around, but nothing's really, nothing's really materialized into a song yet. So just having some fun. Like I mentioned in the last video, I got my Telecaster all set up, so that's playing nicely. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little bit wonky right around the middle of the fretboard if I'm playing unplugged, but. 
Sounds like it might be choking out just a bit, but it sounds okay through an amp, so that's all that really matters. When it comes time to record, if everything sounds good through an amp, then whatever. And I tried to adjust the action on my Les Paul, and uh, that did not go so well. Because um, I think my truss rod is not as stripped in my Les Paul, so I can't, I can't adjust the neck. So I'm kind of pretty much set with what I can what I can do with that one and uh, as far as how low I can get the strings so kind of a bummer because now my uh, Les Paul the action is a lot higher than on the Telecaster well I shouldn't say a lot higher maybe it's like 264 is higher Though it does make a difference, especially if you're playing like bar chords and stuff. It's a lot easier to bar, play bar chords in the telly than it is in the Les Paul now. Course, I guess that just gives me an excuse just to use the Telecaster for more songs. And use my Les Paul for more standard, straight up, just hard rock and roll. Anyway, we shall see. I might take the truss rod cover off and see if I can get that truss rod to move a little bit. Who knows? But anyway, that was uh, that was the straight razor portion of the shave. Went well. Blade's definitely shown its age a little bit, but uh, we got through it. Anyway, I'm going to cut this, do my quick cleanup pass, and we'll come back for the, uh, the, the post shave and the end of the video. All right, and we are back. And yeah, that was a very, very nice shave indeed. Ah, oh, do love some Mickey Lee soap works. Then we'll get in here and we'll dry the face off with the official Lancaster Razor Works towel. Oh, what a towel. So soft. So soft and gentle on the, on the face. But the only towel that I have that I can actually rub my face after a shave or anything else. I have is a, is a pat dry only affair. So yes, the matching splash, alcohol based, good hit of alcohol in this, just a straight up vetiver stink. Absolutely love this one. Get a good healthy dose of that. Oh yeah, we're only gonna need to do this once. I forgot. Whoo! Yep, definitely alcohol in that. Oh, maybe overshaved a little bit in the cleanup pass, but it's okay. Woo -hoo. Yep, definitely felt the burn on that one. Oh, quickly drying down into just nice, woo, fetter. Mm, 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 mm. Nice and just green, luscious. Just picture running through a, a field of. Beautiful green vetiver, and that's exactly what this smells like. All right, so that was the shave for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Maybe went a little bit long on this one because I got Gab in there, but uh, anyway, I uh, appreciate everybody uh, for stopping by and taking a peek. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, you haven't yet subscribed, you're digging the content, please hit that subscribe button down below. Helps my channel grow, helps our wet shaving community grow. And that's it for me until the next time. So as always, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another, most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. We're going to catch you later on. Peace.